Like Pecan Pie, new episodes of Terrace House, Wi-Fi is one of those things that people just can't get enough of. That's what makes a new paper published by a team at Utah's Brigham Young University so fascinating. Without doing anything to the physical hardware of a router, they figured out how to extend the effective Wi-Fi range by up to 200 feet. Just to be clear though, this doesn't mean you'll be watching Netflix on your laptop more than 200 feet away from your router. The amount of data these researchers were able to send at those kinds of distances was pretty minimal. Think about one bit per second. As it turns out though, even that incredibly low data rate can be enough to maintain an active Wi-Fi signal, which is pretty crazy when you consider that normally requires a connection of at least one megabit. Here's how it works. The team at BYU developed a software protocol to convince the transmitter in a Wi-Fi enabled device to send bursts of wireless noise in addition to whatever data it might normally want to send. As the university put it in a news release, the team also programmed into the Wi-Fi sensor a series of ones and zeros, essentially turning the signal on and off in a specific pattern. The wireless router on the other end of all of this could pick that distinctive energy pattern out amid all of the other noise coming from smartphones and computers and TVs and knew that the device sending that pattern was still active out there. Long story short, the team basically figured out how to build a second stream of data into a typical Wi-Fi connection just by turning the signal on and off in specific ways. So yeah, like I said, the fruits of this research won't help you stream movies any further away from your router. That said, it might be sufficient for letting some smart home gadgets communicate even when they are nowhere near their respective hubs. Some devices like smart light switches and garage door openers receive very basic on and off commands that might actually fit just fine into that new secondary data stream. Beyond all that, the researchers are optimistic that their findings could be baked straight into existing Wi-Fi devices without too much trouble because it is, after all, available via a software update. They're also hoping that their protocol could be adapted for use with cellular and Bluetooth radios too, but we're not quite there yet. One thing is for sure though, if you have a really big house that you wanna kit out with all kinds of smart home gear, your life may get a little easier before too long. That's all for today. To learn more about Wi-Fi and really everything else going on in tech, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.